Okay, so, I was talking about, um, a journey. I wrote an original song. I'm talking a little softer because I've recorded, like, hour-long videos for, like, five hours today. I'm determined to continue. Um, so, a journey, so, I used to play piano. I took lessons when I was nine, and I continued all the way till like, my sophomore year of high school. But I just, I was in show choir at the time, and I just didn't want to do piano anymore. And then there was a point at some point between that where my dad was like, why don't you do, why don't you make your own song? Why don't you ever just play for fun? So I was like, fine, I'll make my own song. So I made my own little piano song. I didn't have words or anything. And I called it a journey and it wasn't very good and it didn't really transition very well. It was like little sections of put into one, in one song, really. Not like they were ever separate sections, but they were, and it, I had the idea in my head. They kind of reminded me of things. So I wrote a little story of it, of what each part of the song was supposed to be. It was supposed to be this little journey. It starts out of like a person in a cave, and they fight, they, no, they leave their town, they have to go, into a cave, they fight some things, there's some danger, and then they end up in this place where it's, there's this like really jangly, gentle part, and then they head back home. It's like a little journey, so it's called a journey, and then I thought, why don't I put some lyrics to it? So I did. I made it a little song. I even had some narration, I used like three voice things for it. I actually don't know how I even used, how did I use three voice things for this? Because you can only have three tracks, and you can have an instrumental, and then track, and then two vocals. So I don't know what the hell I did for this, but Henri was like the main singer of it. It wasn't really a song for singing, it was more of like narration type song. And then from there, I made those three voices as like three different characters. And it was going to be an animation, like a music video. And that's the point when I quit making music videos because it was like, hold on, am I? Okay, yeah, you can see. Good. Okay. Um, it was going to be a music video and they were going to be represented as like little animals. And the hero character would be Henri, represented, I think, as like a white rabbit in a blue tunic. And Maki was going to be like a monkey that would help the hero in the cave. And Eleanor, I don't remember what Eleanor was going to be. I think she was just like the narrator of sorts. Um, and I started drawing it out and it, I just could not do it. And I was stressed with it and I wasn't having fun. Even though it was like very simple drawings too. I just wanted to really try to make it like animated. And then I stopped and I was like, okay, I'm getting too into this animation stuff. I'm not having fun anymore. And I haven't tried animating things since. Um, I've, I've always had that thought. I wanted to, and then that ended up turning into a symphony channel. So it sort of worked out, but I'm always just like, hmm. Because when I think of animations I'd want to do, I'd want it to be more in the style of like how um, flip notes used to look like, or that that's kind of something I think I could do, so, I don't know, um, so yeah, and then I made it with lyrics, so that was posted here, I really regret, I hadn't made my Synthvi channel, I made my Synthvi channel like a while after I did the song, and I would have posted on there originally, but then I thought, oh, I want people to see it because I took all this time, I didn't really know anything about tuning at the time either, I could just post it on my Synthvi channel anyway, like, uh -huh. And I made this song, and it's here, and there it is, um, and it's old, but whatever. I don't know, maybe I'll do that. Um, and then I started going to new regions in Pokemon Snap, I picked up, yeah, I picked up Snap again, because I decided to finally finish the game and stuff, and whatever. Um, uh, and then there was more stuff, it's basically the things I missed in the original update, um, what else?
Or no, wait, I think this was me backtracking on Snap. Yeah, I recognize these regions. Okay. So, yeah, I was backtracking, finish. Uh, and then I finally planned uh, Kirikus Uprising. Um, and it's one of the best 3DS games I've ever played, if not the best 3DS game I've ever played. I don't think they could ever make a sequel or anything to it. It's so fucking funny. And the characters are just great. I'm not even kidding. The dialogue between, like, all the god characters literally feels like it's a Discord call and they're watching Kit, Kit uh, play a game. That is essentially what the character dynamics are like, basically. It's, it's great and it's so good. It got really hard sometimes, but... And the controls hurt my hands really bad, but it was so fun. And it had such good music and writing, and it was so funny, and I loved it so much. You could honestly port it to Switch and change the controls, and I'm sure it would do great. Oh man, I'm so glad I got to play it. I recommend it to everyone. It's If you have a 3DS, you need to go play this game now. Um, no Robots Allowed was an itch.io game made by the same people as Date Time. It was okay. Um... No, wait, here. Here, I backtracked originally with Snap, and then I decided to finish it and stuff. Um, and then Mighty Wide River was like a new region, I think, because there was like a post-game. Uh, I watched the movie uh, Suzume with my friend. I think I watched... Did I watch it with my friend? Wait, I think I'm thinking of Moody Eye of the Future. I'm going to have to message my friend in a bit and ask him, did he watch Susan A with me? Because I genuinely don't remember. No. No, I think I watched Susan A by myself. It was really good. I liked it a lot. Um, I think it's on Crunchyroll now as well. Um, I watched it, uh, I think I watched it subs, but it was really good. Because I don't really watch anime movies like this a lot, but I loved this one. I never did a review of uh, Catch Your Wave, I think that's what it was called. That shit was depressing, but it was also really good. Should have done a review of it, but I don't want to watch it again. Uh, it was too sad. Uh, Katamari Damacy is a really wacky little game, and I like how wacky it is, and I would play it more, but it's hard, and I hate the controls, even with the controller. But it is very cool. I don't know if I'll ever play it again. Um, uh, then I started my playthrough of Super Mario Galaxy. I have it on the Switch as part of the 3D All-Stars. I didn't technically finish it. I did beat Bowser. I collected so many stars. It's crazy. The Galaxy experience is insane because I have so much nostalgia for this game. And I played the crap out of it as a kid, and it was really hard for me. And then I played it, you know, this year as an adult, and it was so easy for, like, most of the game. I got, like, 90 stars in, like, three days. I went through it, and the thing is, I wasn't rushing through it. It was just a lot easier. It was, oh, man. Yeah, it was, so I was recording my review of it, um, and people started getting really into it. Um, so that was something I did for a long time. I don't know if I'll go back, because the point of the game I'm at, I have, like, one more dome left, but it's really freaking hard. I don't know, and I mean, I did already beat Bowser, so... But I do want to unlock a Luigi. I don't know. Okay, anyway, um... Cheese Land, uh... Oh, oh, and then, yeah, around the same time, with Galaxy, I played Phoenix Sight for the first time. I played the entire trilogy. Um, it was on Steam. I loved it. I played it more than anything else on Steam, according uh, to Steam. And I'm fully planning on getting um, Apollo Justice when it comes out in July. Uh, but yeah, play Phoenix Wright Attorney, Ace Attorney. It's really cool. Um, I'm kind of sad with the Apollo Justice games. The first one is in 2D, and then the other ones are 3D, and they look kind of ugly. 
I'm not prepared for change. Um, so I was playing all these games at like the same time. I remember that. Um, I've made like whole review videos for all the trilogy as well, so I don't need to talk about that here. Um, oh, that's when I started Alice, Mons Ret Alice Madness Returns four months ago. Um, I'm still not done with it yet. I'm not even probably halfway through it. It's cool, but it just feels so long for some reason. It's it's too much open world for me. I don't know if I'll go back. I always say that I do, and I'm like, Ugh. I don't know. And then I decided to do a sketchbook tour of my sketchbook. I have way more in my sketchbook now. Um, but I did a review of all of my sketchbooks. I think I even saved the videos onto like Google Drive or something. But um, I did my main sketchbook, which I've started using more. I've been doing one piece drawings in there. I I might edit that into the video, I don't know. Uh, maybe later, maybe in the other video I make. Um, you'll get to see my one piece drawings. I'm gonna literally buy a sketchbook for one piece though. It's gonna be crazy. Um, I'll talk about more on that later. Um, what else, what else? Uh, so yeah, I continue Ace Attorney, I continue Super Mario Galaxy. I'm making these really long commentary sketchbook tours. Um, I'm sorry the, sh the lighting in my high school sketchbook is so shitty. I recorded it in like the middle of the night. The lighting in my room is just really bad no matter what time of day it is. Um, but I record mostly at night. Um, yeah, so I finished the first Phoenix Wright game. The first game is still my favorite. First and third game were really cool. Um, yeah, and then I continue on, and then I talk about my paintings. I never did make one about my gummy painting. Damn, that would've been cool. Anyway, um, and then I watched The Little Mermaid. I actually liked it. I was very surprised by this. I have not watched the original in years, and I almost... I had wanted to watch it after watching the 2023 one, but I didn't want to, like, compare them in my brain. Um, I thought the new one actually made a lot of cool changes. I was very surprised out of the remakes. I hate most of the live-action remakes, but I actually did genuinely enjoy watching this one. I didn't love it. I didn't think it was, like, the most amazing thing in the world, but, like, it was enjoyable. Um, yeah, yeah, I do want to rewatch the original again, though. Maybe I'll make a review of that, too. Not a comparison, but just for fun. Um, and then I did the Green Star Trials. I am still surprised I did those. They were not as frustrating as I expected them to be. Um, what did I show you guys on my desk? What did I do? I don't know. Um, yeah, yeah, so... Uh, yeah, that's when the, the Mario Galaxy stuff started picking up for some reason by the Green Star Trials. And then I finished the second Ace Attorney game. Uh, and I just continued with these three games. And within the entire time, it's really f the entire time between the beginning of the year and this point, which is, you've seen, you, you saw my entire first video, that was an hour and a half, right? I gained 10 subs. Very cool. I drew this on draw pile, this thumbnail of my character, and I tried a, like, brighter color palette. I wanted to go for more of a fall look, and I thought in my brain, oh, this is the style I'm going to draw her in from now on, and then I deleted draw pile, and I can't draw her like this again, because it doesn't work really the same in endless paint. Um, they work sort of differently, and now I'm sad, but I like this art of her. I kind of prefer it more than my original art, but... Oh well, we can consider this like an alternate costume, basically, but I love this design, and I liked these colored lines and everything. It was cool. I usually use the 10 sub videos, I don't make them anymore, but they were my way of saying like, oh, um, uh, this is like future plans and saying thank you and things coming up and just stuff. They were fun. I don't think I'll do them anymore, but they were nice to do. Um, yeah, so more Ace Attorney, more Galaxy, it was like that for a really long time. Uh, and then I didn't finish Galaxy, but I started ranking it. And these things just continue. Um, and then I wanted to try ASMR. Um, 
this one is my galaxy video. I even remember recording some of these too, this is wild. I, I remember making this video for galaxy. I hated this galaxy. Um, and then I did most of them, so I ranked it. Uh, still hadn't beaten Buster yet at this point. I could've. I had enough stars ages ago. I just didn't want to. Um, yeah, so then I wanted to try ASMR. It was kind of hard because I had to hold the camera the entire time. And the audio with Voxel was... There was some kind of audio problem I had whenever I'd record with the camera. So, I think I didn't use my mic, and I just used, like, the mic, the audio from the mic, or the camera, or something. But, I bought this book, um, I bought An Impulse Buy at Barnes & Nobles. It had the most beautiful cover, and it was these, uh, drawings of animals. No, pictures of animals, um, it was like a kid's book, and I bought it. The reason I was able to buy it was I told people, I told my parents, oh, I'll paint these. I'll use it as, like, art inspiration. I still plan to. I want to do watercolor. Watercolor or gouache. Why the hell is my phone still only at 90 for charging? I'm getting concerned. Um, I'm just going to unplug it. I hope there's nothing wrong with it. I'll turn my phone off. Um, yeah, so I bought it, and I will. I haven't painted anything from it. It's too cold to paint outside. It's, it's winter. But, um... I wanted to try ASMR, so I thought I could read the book, but it was kind of a pain, um, which is sad, because I really like ASMR. I've always wanted to make a video where I just talk about ASMR itself, and t I thought, oh, I could talk about the ASMR channels I'm subscribed to, and then I thought about the stuff I listen to, and I'm like, mm, people might think I'm weird, so, uh... Yeah, then the final chapter for National Park Girls finally came out. It was such a really long wait, so I was able to finally finish the whole game at that point and review it and stuff. It was cool. Um, I have a lot of thoughts on it. And then I tried more ASMR. I recorded the no commentary first for the storybook, like, in the game. And then I used that. No, no, I had the no commentary. And then I used that, and when I was shifting through the game, I read, um, in my head, and that's when I knew when to turn the pages, and then that messed up the timing when I actually recorded. I thought I was doing myself a favor, and I was wrong. Um, so yeah. And then, these are the last Banjo-Kazooie things I played. I just, I think, maybe, no, no, there's more Banjo-Kazooie. Uh, then, Luigi's Mansion 3 was on sale at some point, and I bought it, uh, it was like the Mario Day sale, so this was back in March, I purchased it, and I told myself, I'm gonna play Luigi's Mansion for Halloween, so I pre-recorded it, like, months in advance for Halloween, and my goal was to have the game finished by, um, uh, October 31st, and I did. And I posted them, I recorded them months in advance, because I knew I couldn't realistically play the game within a month, but that was my goal, and I did it, and I'm still so proud of myself. And Luigi's Mansion 3 was so much fun. Um, and I've played the other ones too, I didn't ever finish Dark Moon. I got into a very deep conversation about Luigi's Mansion that may have convinced me to play Dark Moon. And I know the remake is on the Switch, I could. Because I did play the original on Dolphin. I played it on an actual GameCube too, but it was at my cousin's house. Um, but I played it, it was on my... Mis I had a channel, one of my first channels before the Synth V1 and before the Brain Dumps and Doodles. It was a channel called Nostalgia Ghost, and I played games on Dolphin. I just played GameCube games, and I did an entire playthrough of the first Luigi's Mansion. And then I lost the password of the account, and because one point I accidentally signed out of YouTube on accident, and I couldn't access that channel. It's still up there. I have like three subscribers or something, and I used to play Mario Party, and I used to play the first Luigi's Mansion, and I can't make videos for it anymore. But that's okay. I don't really play GameCube games that much anymore. Um, I don't really use Dolphin much. Um, but anyway, I played Luigi's Mansion 3, 
and I posted, that's why there's so many Luigi's Mansion 3 videos, my goal was to play, um, up until October, and I finished, like, a feed, like, it got to a point where I couldn't actually record anymore, like, pre-record, I got to the point where I'm like, oh, it's October, I need to be playing and posting this immediately, and I did, I finished, like, a few days before, I finished like a few days before Halloween, and then I was able to record the view and some other stuff, um, got that all done before Halloween, that was my achievement this year, um, but it was really fun, so I played for like an a half an hour, an hour, uh, I have bots, I've made review videos, you know, but I loved this game, it was awesome, I didn't really buy many Switch games this year, I already owned Galaxy, um, but I bought Luigi's Mansion, I bought Super Mario RPG. Mario fans are winning, honestly. And I will get the, the Thousand Year Door remake, that's a promise. Thousand Year Door is my favorite game of all time. So, yeah, I played Luigi's Mansion, and then uh, Success to Dr. Brain is from the same people as Daytime. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, it was alright. Um, so yeah, but it's just Luigi's Mansion for the entirety of October. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh yeah, Amazing Digital Circus spawned into existence. Um, it's still insane to me because I'm still getting videos about it recommended. And all we have as of like New Year's, um, 2023 we just have one episode it's just the pilot and the amount of fan content and attention from this is like absolutely insane it's kind of funny because welcome home was like a thing this year and it got super popular and then it kind of died out and it got popular again depending on the updates and then it was like amazing digital circus came out and it took everyone's attention from welcome home and i find that hilarious i like both of them though um, I like Welcome Home a little more, but I'm excited for Digital Circus. It's really cool. Um, it also helped my Synthview channel, but... <laughs> anyway, um, and then I started playing Halloween games because I had some time. Um, I played those actually in October, too. Um, so, first one of those is Magical Girls a Bitch. Uh, a lot of people liked it, I got comments about it too, it was kind of cool. Uh, all of these Halloween games I played, by the way, were made for the Visual Novel October Jam or whatever. Um, so they're all demos, I forgot to check up on them. I don't know if any of them have the full game released yet, but I doubt it. Um, this one was pretty funny, pretty goofy. I, I could continue playing it. Uh, Phantom of the Black Rose I really liked, I'm very excited for it. Um, and then How I Made Director Curse was a full, was the only one I could find that I was interested in that was a full game. Um, oh yeah, the views for Luigi's Mansion got really freaking high for some reason. For, but only on like specific ones, like this one, the boo hunting one. Or not the boo hunting one, I'm sorry, the, um, the fitness center got almost 500 views. I don't know why, um. And then once I actually started finishing the game, I got a lot of views, um, because I started doing gem grinding, which I thought was going to get no views. That was crazy to me. Why did they want to watch me hunt for gems? And then I rescued Mario, and I got the last floor, and then I beat story mode, and did the boss fight. Um, and then I ranked all the floors. That was the first time I did a tier list in, like, months, um... But I wanted to talk about the floors and then just a general view. So, as you can tell, I loved this game. 10 out of 10. Um, I don't actually even need any more Luigi's Mansion games. I'm good to go. Um, but it's nice to on Switch now. Um, Call to the Lamb. Uh, someone in my class. So at this point, I, it was during my semester, first semester at university. Uh, my art history classmate was like, hey... There's this demo for Call to the Lamb, it's cool, you should play it, so I did. It was alright, I wouldn't buy it, but I could see why people like it. I don't regret trying out the demo, because uh, it was available during Halloween, um, and that was the last of my, like, no, that was not the last of my Halloween videos. 
October was insane for me. Like, 2022, for September, I was constantly working on Portal 2 stuff. 2023, October, was insane for me content-wise. I played, I got posted all of Luigi's Mansion, several Ichio games, reviews for Luigi's Mansion, a demo, a movie, and reading creepy pasta. I did so much, but it was so much fun, honestly. Um, so yeah, then I watched Haunted Mansion. I was very surprised, actually. Like, Disney was really weird this year, where I love, I actually really liked The Little Mermaid. I genuinely enjoyed Haunted Mansion. I was very surprised that they made it about the ride, and it took itself seriously. And the acting was pretty good. I didn't really care much about the story, but, like, it was an enjoyable experience. Owen Wilson was my favorite character. We had Owen Wilson and Danny DeVito in the same movie. How can I argue against that? Um, so it was really cool. Um, I'd recommend it. I liked it a lot. Um, yeah, and then I got nostalgic for creepy pasta because I used to be really... That's the things I was into. When I was, I was like a cringe creepy pasta kid in middle school, and then I also got into Vocaloid in middle school. There was a third thing I got into in middle school. I don't remember what the third thing is, and I still like Vocaloid. That led me to Synthfee, and now I make Synthfee covers, and now it's going full circle where there's an editor coming out and I could finally, finally use Vocaloid Oliver. I'm so fucking excited. Um, as for Creepypasta, that did not go anywhere, but they're nostalgic. Uh, um, Candle Cove and Ben Drowned are my favorites. I still have not watched the live action Candle Cove episode. That, that's a real thing, by the way. Um, I also used to be kind of scared of Candle Cove and Ben Drowned a little bit at that point, but <laughs> it was fun to read through those again. I didn't realize Ben Drowned is so freaking long. It's kind of cheesy, but I like it. I read it a lot, as you can tell. I, I went through the whole thing. Um, but that was my Halloween special. I didn't even need those. I could have just done Luigi's Mansion. And then I remembered Ichio, and I, like, it kept adding on. My only plan was literally Luigi's Mansion, and then it just kept growing and growing, and I found more and more spooky things. I love Spooky Month. Um, but the, the creepy pastas I just did because I was, mis I felt nostalgic. Um, I don't think I'll ever go back to reading creepy pasta. Maybe, uh, for 2024, I might read some more, just for fun. I don't know. Um, I don't think I can top October 2023, though, for me. That was that was so much content. Oh, my God. Um, and then I took a little bit of a break and went back to normal things as soon as Halloween was over. Um, we played some racing games. I have a habit of playing at, like, 11 o'clock at night, just playing N64 online games for, like, no reason. Um, Kirby continued. I... With the posting and playing of Kirby, I took a pause from that for the entirety of October for obvious reasons. Um, Pokemon Violet was a game my brother bought me, and I was really into it the first, like, two hours. And then I got bored, um, but I liked it. Um, I played most of it just kind of on my own. It was never intended to be a game I played for the channel, but... I took a very, very, very long pause from playing it, and I decided the only way I was going to get myself to play it was to play it on the channel. That's part of the reason I made the channel in the first place. It was getting me out of the slump of not playing video games, and I thought if I can hold myself accountable and play games to a schedule, it did get me back into video games. Except for, like, Pokemon and Luigi's Mansion, and that's kind of about it. I did not hold myself to a schedule. I have probably finished maybe, like, in the, like, two to three years I've had this channel, I've maybe finished, like, from start to finish on the channel, maybe, like, or even finished anything, maybe, like, five big games and a bunch of little games. But, hey, 
I've played a fuck ton of cool games on here, no regrets, um, so, and then I made all these Pokemon videos, and I actually did finish the story mode, um, yeah, see, I made all these, and it was really fun, I'm glad that I started recording at that point, because I finished a bunch of the storylines, and got to do the sort of, the big, the big thing, um, and that was cool. I still can't believe the pr one of the professors is a robot. That's still like crazy to me. Um, the DLC is out. I don't know how much it is. I watched my brother play a little bit of it because my brother was just freaking playing the DLC while I was doing finals for school. Um, the one with the mask looks kind of boring. Um, I like the little mask creature from what I've seen. And then the one where you go in the ocean and it's in Unima looks pretty cool. The only thing is, I've heard with the teams, like, they're meant for, like, the team that you used in the game, the one that's probably, like, level 70 or something. And my thing with the DLC was I wanted to make a new team. And it sounds like that's just not possible, especially because they give you the starters and they make them hard to unlock. I don't know if I want the DLC. I did say I wanted to do a Johto run. I don't know when that'll be a thing. Um, my brother has a shiny hoppet for me if I do do a Johto run. So that's somewhat an incentive, but I don't know, man. I don't know if I'll ever go back to Violet. But it was fun. I enjoyed it. I should have made a review for it, but whatever. I didn't remember a lot about it at the time. Um, wait, did I make a video where you guys saw me beat the... No, I don't have a video for when I fought the Elite Four. Damn. Um, and then I started playing Cuddler Shoujo. Uh, literally just because of a YouTube video I watched that explained its development. I already knew about it. It was a game I avoided because I, I don't like 18 plus things. And then I found out that there's just an option to disable adult, adult content, and that was a win. So I'm playing it. I still have not finished it. I've only done two routes. Uh, I still think Lily's best girl, but Hanako is pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna actually start this person's route next. I was actually thinking of recording that maybe tomorrow, actually, so that's kind of funny. Um, I'm saying tomorrow is in when I'm recording this video, not, like, for New Year's, but I will continue this game in 2024. I really want to do Emmy and Rin's routes really bad. They seem really cool. I've been saving them for last on purpose. Um, I played Mario Tennis. I, Waluigi is pretty cool. Um, at the time, Laura Peach was not a thing yet, but I want her to be an actual Mario character. She seems cool. Um, I want, the movie Leo came out on Netflix, and f even from the trailer, I actually was interested in it. And here's something that is absolutely hilarious. The animated talking animal Adam Sandler movie was a billion times better than the Disney 100th anniversary movie. That's so sad. It's so funny to me. Leo was amazing. I watched it on day one. My parents and I loved it. I did not cry, but I did get a little bit emotional. He was just such a cool character, and because it was so good, I'm probably going to watch that 2002 animated Adam Sandler Christmas movie, and it's probably going to be garbage, but it's a meme now. I'm just so surprised that Leo was so good. You guys don't understand how good of a movie that was, and I never heard anyone talk about it, and then after I made the video, it's not because of me, I know that, but like, I noticed, um, people kept making videos about it, and they they were like, wait, it's actually good, and they were like, it's better than Wish, and I'm just sitting here like, that's what I've been saying since day one, people. But man, you need to, you guys need to go watch Leo. It's, it's so fucking good. Um, and then I remember there was a second Posey game. I played that. Um, continuing Mario RPG. I played a visual novel. I pretty much only play gay dating sims. I don't know why. That's just kind of my jam. Um, I, I just like games where I can date women. It's fun. I played Yoshi's Story. 
Oh, if I sound more emotional, it's because my voice is pretty much dead, but I'm trying to do this all in one go. Um, I thought it was going to be an easy, cutesy Yoshi game for children. It is evil. I hate it. You can't even play all the levels. The bosses are optional. I got lost. I literally could not finish a level for like an hour. It is evil. I will never touch it again. And people seem to agree with me on that. Um, and then it's funny because then I posted my RPG ma RPG uh, video and I went to the Yoshi, the Yoshi Island and I tried the Yoshi racing game and I was garbage and I lost and I lost my winnings. I failed and I called it Yoshi gambling and the fact that they're just next to each other is hilarious. The evil of Yoshi spreads. Um, I, oh, and I did make a Yoshi me on Meme Island. I almost forgot about that. That was a thing. Um, and then I watched Wish. I think I was... Was I sick when I watched Wish? My voice was messed up that day because I had to keep pausing to drink tea. I don't know what was wrong with me at that point because I didn't have... Did I have sick? No, no, no. When was Thanksgiving break? Wait, no. Because I started Super Mario RPG. It came out the day before I went to break, and I'm so excited, and then I got sick. So all, my voice sounds crappy in all of these. Yeah, I was still sick. I was recovering from sickness. My throat was so messed up. Okay, um, Wish, uh, it was okay. It could have been better. I have never been so disappointed with the promise of a Disney villain. Asha was cool, but I feel like she could have been more interesting. My favorite character was the little star guy who looked like a Luma. He was adorable and had so much personality. Which is why I feel mixed when we see the art and how it was originally supposed to be like a love interest for Asha as like a little silly like star person. On one hand I'm like, I, I actually liked the star character in the movie that we got, but at the same time, it would have probably been really cool. Um, the two biggest complaints I see for the concept art stuff is that the queen and the king were supposed to be evil, and they would have been the first official evil Disney couple, and you know what? If they made him, like, actually evil and more interesting and fixed the plot holes, I would 100% be down with them being evil together. Um, the star as, like, a little shape-shifting person and basically turning the movie into an animated gender swap of Stardust, it probably would have been fine. Probably would have been better. I'm okay. People seem so let down by it, though. Um, but yeah, as a one, as a movie, it was okay. I remember it had so much promise because it was revealed that like the Disney equivalent of E3, with some sketches of Asha and the goat, and people got so hyped, and then the actual movie came out, and it was kind of just okay. And it was very disappointing. The songs were disappointing too. There's only it's only like the song that she sings. I think it's called This Wish or something that I actually still remember. I was so disappointed by the villain song. The movie failed me in that department. Um, but yeah, for the 100th anniversary, we deserve better, especially because it promised to be a Disney princess movie, and it had like the tropes for it, and it had a cool main character, and then it just kind of fell flat. Um, and these are pre-recorded, the Kirby stuff by this point. Uh, Tree is the final boss of the Magua mode. I cannot pick my thumbnails when I record on Switch because I cannot screenshot, otherwise Luigi's Mansion would have had a way cooler, uh, way cooler, uh, thumbnails, I promise. Um, same with Super Mario RPG, but, um, this was caught from the three options that YouTube gives you. This is a perfectly timed shot, so I called it Tree. 
I can see why people liked it. Um, Be Honest is a quiz on Itch.io. Slightly spooky. It was alright. Um, so, more Super Mario RPG. Falling Feet in the Snow is a game with two routes. Um, it's kind of weird. I found a tongue in a box. And then I played a game by the same people's beauty copter that I've wanted to play for a very long time. It's kind of funny walk. I was so excited. And then it was basically unplayable. Um, and then the Doctor Who specials came out. Um, the Star Beast was really cool. I loved Blue Yonder. The Giggle was a disappointment. Okay, moving on. Um, I tried out Harvest Moon because Harvest Moon and a few other games came out. Um, I am spoiled by Stardew Valley. Um, I cannot go back to playing things older than Stardew Valley. It kills me. Which is sad because Harvest Moon is kind of cute. And I would have liked it as a kid. If this was like on the GameCube when I was a kid, I would have probably played this a lot. But I probably would have also sucked at it. Um, and then I picked up Pokemon Snap again. And I remember that even on the N64, it's really fun. Um, I will continue this in 2024. It will probably be one of the games I record from my laptop, though. Um, in my cozy blanket. Um, and then I finally finished the Lily route. It was very long. And it was my first time playing. Lily's a cool character. Um, and then I started Hanukkah's route. Uh, and I got to skip a lot of the dialogue, so that's why it's shorter. Um, she's cool too. Um, yeah, so then I started watching and playing things because it was the start of my two week anime binge. Uh, the Boy and the Heron, I liked it, but I'm too stupid to understand it, so I need to watch it again. I'm currently planning a Ghibli movie day with my friends, but they're not really cooperating that well. I need to show one of them Spirited Away, because whenever I make a friend and they tell me they've never seen Spirited Away, it is my obligatory mission. I am required to show everyone Spirited Away. I have to, so yeah. Um, I bought Just Dance off eBay, and it's my workout game. I've only played it like three times, and I loved it, and it was nostalgic. And, um, I bought, I bought three other Just Dance games off eBay. It was like $30. I bought Just Dance 2, I bought Just Dance Summer Party, and I bought Just Dance 3. And that is all the Just Dance games I need for the rest of my life. Um, they have they have a lot of good songs in there. I literally just bought Summer Party just so I could dance to uh, Professor Pumpernickel. Um, because Just Dance 2 has a ton of DLC and you can't buy it anymore because the Wii Shop doesn't exist. Um, and Just Dance Summer Party has all the DLC for the most part. So I bought it, and then I heard Just Dance 3 is everyone's favorite, so I bought it, uh, yeah, because I knew I would get tired of 1, but 1 has, has a banger soundtrack, and I know every song on there by heart, probably. I don't like all of them, I really, really don't like Who Let the Dogs Out, I think it sucks, um, Lump's my current favorite on there so far, and every time I play, I have to dance to except for in the 80s. It's just so good. Yeah, go, go play Just Dance as a workout. It's fun. Um, there's also Just Dance ABBA. I was going to buy it on eBay, but it was, like, more expensive than the others, and instead I told my mom, hey, I'm just going to find a YouTube playthrough of Just Dance ABBA, and we can dance to it on the big TV. I'm seriously going to get my mom into do dance as an exercise thing. We're going to dance to so much ABBA. I'm so excited. Um, I mean, I could have done that with the others. I could have just played it 
could have just watched it on a TV and just followed along as an exercise thing, but it is a video game. I will play it with a Wii Remote. I have to physically play it. It'll bother me if I don't. Um, and that means I can play it whenever I want if I get a song stuck in my head. Um, One Drag Parody had so much potential. The first, like, seven episodes were so good. And then it let me down. What the hell? Why was there basically, like, no ending? Why did they do this to me? It had so much promise. It has a really good soundtrack, though. Um, this Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. I'm still watching it. I love it. It's so good. I thought because it used to be really popular and people really liked the dragon characters and whatever, I thought it was going to be, like, overly sexual or weird. There's one fan service character, though. Um, but it's it's really good. Um, it was a manga. I'll probably read the manga. Um, um, yeah, yeah, I'll probably read the manga. Um, there's spin-off mangas, too. Thank you, whoever told me about that, telling me that there's mangas for uh, Kana and Alma. I want to check them out. Um, because I don't really read a lot of manga. Uh, the first manga I ever read was in elementary school. It was about this girl, and she opens a book, and there's a witch inside, and they go on adventures. I found it once, the name of it. I don't remember. It, my friend had it. She showed it to me, my bestie, and I want to find it again. I want to actually buy it and, like, actually read it, because it would be so nostalgic. I don't know why I still remember it, but it was cool. Um, and then there's other mangas I read. Um, there's a manga for How to Flip Boyfriend. Uh, I read it after I played the game. It was really good. I tried to, doing a painting based on one of the scenes, and I didn't finish it, and it turned into a landscape painting, and I glued little plastic dinosaurs on it. Um, and then I read a manga called uh, Monster Monsume, Daily Life with Monster Girls or something. I liked it. I didn't realize it was like kind of sexual until I started reading it. Um, but I just skipped those parts, honestly. I'm not into that shit. But I like the characters. My favorite character, her name's Poppy. Was it Poppy? I think it was Poppy, actually. I think it was Poppy. She's blue. She's a harpy. I think she's adorable. I'd be her friend. Um, I never finished it. I read it, like, on my Nook tablet. Um, I don't know if I'll ever go back to it, but... I thought it was cool, and now I'm reading Catalia. I'm not very far, but I watched the anime, and I got obsessed with it, and I'm actually reading the manga. This doesn't happen to me a lot, by the way, where I watch an anime, and then I read the manga. I've also never done the reverse of that either, but I'm reading the manga for Hitalia. I, I, I need to continue it. I haven't read anything in a while. I started reading a uh, second Dune book this year, and now I'm thinking of getting into audiobooks, and now I'm thinking of doing Doctor Who audiobooks, so I'll talk about reading later in the next video. Um, that's the video, the recap, where I talk about my life. Um, uh, but yeah, Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid is very wholesome and fun. Go watch it. Uh, the Chimes of Midnight is weird. I'm getting to the points where I recorded, like, everything on screen except Potiful Boyfriend, like, within the last three days. This is crazy. Um, it's my favorite audio story. I will make that a thing, um, for 2024. I'm glad that people watched both parts. I don't know if it's because I picked the story that's everyone's favorite as well, or because it was something new that I did on this channel, but I'm glad people are interested. I hope if I do more audio reviews, people will be interested, but I was so glad to re-listen to it as my Christmas tradition. Um, yeah, because the Hot of a Boyfriend for Holiday Star, I've recorded those in, like, the summer, I think. 
no, it was spring. I think I recorded them in spring. Um, the movie and my binge reviews, they're not actually all posted. I'm recording this on the 28th, and the rest of them get posted within, like, the next few days. But by the time you're watching this video on New Year's, everything would have been posted. Um, yeah, they're not here yet. Um, I watched Tokyo Godfathers on Christmas. Christmas Day. It was awesome. I, yeah, reviewed a ton of stuff. Um, I'm glad people are watching this too. I really recommend Godzilla Minus One. It emotionally hit me, but it was very, very well made. Um, the Church on Ruby Road. Oh, and I talk about anime in this one too. Uh, the Megumin anime, uh, for Konosuba. It's, it's cute. Um, Church on Ruby Road was the first Doctor Who episode for the 15th Doctor. I felt let down a little bit, but I also understand why it is the way it is. Um, 15 is cool. Kind of whatever about Ruby still. I want to know who Mrs. Flood is. Um... And I hope that they use the jukebox for the TARDIS. I'm more excited to watch it with my friend so we can make memes than I am to actually continue watching. But I will have hope. I hope it will be good. Yeah. Um. This anime movie review. What was this? Was this just on the girl from the other side? It is a beautiful art style. You can even just watch it for the aesthetic. Um, and then there will be more. They're not here yet, of course, but there will be more from the anime movie review. Um, so that's all my YouTube channels as of today. But like I said, there will be more. Um, even as those get posted and everything gets caught up to when this will get posted, um, I, won't, I won't go back because it will be stuff that's like so recent, you know. Um, but that's all my YouTube videos. I can't believe I have 949 videos out of everything. I made this channel like March of like 2021, I think. 21, 22. Um, channel should be like two years old in March, I think. Um, I have to check. I'm bad with numbers, but I've had it for a while. So yeah, I made a lot of cool stuff this year. Um, I'm proud of that. October was the craziest for me, video-wise. Um, but I got to replay Galaxy. I got to play Hateful Boyfriend and Katawa Shoujo, which I've wanted to play for years. Uh, the Mario RPG remake is amazing. I love it. Uh, Doctor Who is continuing again. Uh, Just Dance is really cool. I got back interested into anime, and the audios will be a thing. Um, yeah, we got National Park, but the biggest thing this year was Ace Attorney. It's so fucking goofy, but so sad. Maya's my favorite character. Edward's also my favorite character. Um, is there anything else? I'm like scrolling. Um, I, I finished, uh, Snap, which was cool. Um, Kid Icarus was a gem. That was a highlight of this year as well. Um, Franbo, I've wanted to play for years as well. The Barbie movie is life-changing. Welcome Home was a cool thing to discover as well. And the amazing Digital Circus also came out, so that was cool. Um, yeah, I got to finally fully play Doki Doki by myself. Um, there's just a lot I did. I'm trying to see if there's anything else super, super significant. Um, oh yeah, this reaction that was important. Thousand New Door was announced. Mario fans are winning. Um, it's me. I'm Mario fans. Um, Bug Fables was cool. I watched Twin Peaks. I watched the Very Cursed Cats movie. One Shot was very cool. Tux and Fanny was cool for a bit. Um, 
we played Transistor, I went down an entire movie rabbit hole, musicals were also sort of a thing, and Seinfeld, Seinfeld, um, Epic Mickey was also a thing, and the Stanley, Stanley Parable is what I basically started this year with. And then Epic Mickey was like in February, I think. And it sort of slows down from there. But my point is, I watched a lot of cool things. Watched a lot of cool things. Um, I finished... No, wait, that's personal life stuff. Um, you know, I got to have a successful year in December that didn't end in anything insane. Because I've had some pretty weird Decembers. I had some stressful ones at school. And then the year after that, I had jaw surgery. And this year actually ended normally. It was so nice. And I've been recording so, so many of these videos, especially today. But, um, yeah, that's the little recap of all of my YouTube channel, lots of my YouTube videos. Um, and, yeah, I even started a second YouTube channel. And as of the 28th, I have 92 subs. And I started this year with, like, 30 subs that's insane where did you all come from i mean there is some specific videos where they just had a stupidly large amount of views but where did all of these people just and i got like most of these subs it's like i went from 30 to 40 in a very long amount of time and then after that it was like all of a sudden a bunch of people started subscribing i that's insane to me. I'm literally almost at 100, and I've had this channel for, like, it doesn't feel like very long. It's, it just blows my mind. But anyway, um, I'm going to continue making YouTube videos. As you saw with the first of these, um, Recap 2023, where I talked about the channel news, um, I got some exciting stuff hopefully planned, um, so that'll be cool. I'll continue just making things, not even just for you guys, but also for me. Um, cool games, cool reviews, cool things just on the way and that I've made. But I feel really proud of all the videos I made this year. It was Sometimes it was kind of stressful, but it was mostly really fun. Um, I'm glad. Okay, so that's the end of that. And the next... These recaps will be the final one, I think. It'll just be me talking about my life, really, like, this year. Not anything, like, insane. Not anything like, oh, the jaw surgery, like, last year. But, like, I don't know. Just something nice for me to talk about, um, how it's been. I've had some big life changes, though. Um, but I just wanted to get all the channel stuff for this year just out of the way to talk about, um, but I have recorded, like, literally all day. I'm not even kidding. And it's 11, so I will record the last lot tomorrow. And that will be my final video for 2023. Wow. <sighs> Alright, I'm going to go to sleep. I need it. But I hope you guys liked seeing all of these, of all the videos I've made this year and stuff. It's It's been a wild ride. Alrighty. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.